Hello everybody, welcome back to the Craft Beer Hub. I have got another beer review for you and it is this. It's called Sunrise Vista. It is from Arbor, who are down in Bristol. And I got this on a Trembling Madness order just after Christmas. And I think I got it for around about £4.20, somewhere in, the, in that ballpark, I think. Go and have a little look on their website if you are interested uh, after this video. Um, Arbor beers make me smile. I think they're a cracking brewery. Um, Paul's Beer Reviews in a recent video said that he, think, he thinks they are criminally underrated. That is a quote, and I will absolutely agree with him. I think they're a fantastic brewery, Arbor. I've had many different beers from Arbor across a nice variety of styles, and I find generally they hit the spot perfectly. The quality is always top, top draw, and obviously the bonus is you get these pint cans. Um, and when you consider this to some supermarket price beers... Um, Tiny Rebel, who I'm not that big a fan of, if I'm entirely honest with you. They're 505 um, New England, is it an IPA or whatever it was? Generally, it's, it, it, what, it's not a great beer, if I'm entirely honest. That's priced currently in Morrison's at £4.50. So I know it's a slightly different style of beer, because this is a Session New England IPA at 4.2%, and I can't quite remember what that is. I think it's a is it 5.8% 5, 5 IPA, so it's slightly higher in ABV. But it's going to probably be a little bit more money than this. So yeah, that supermarkets aren't appearing to be the most cheap places at the moment. Um, and uh, yeah, just a little bit of a comparison for you um, compared to a bottle shop. So go and have a look at your bottle shops. Um, a sessionable, it says juicy and sessionable. Is it a session? It says a session New England IPA on the front of the can. Um, it's 4.2%, oh, no, no, sorry, New, New England Pale Ale. Um, but it's 4.2%. So to me, that's a nice ABV for a pal, if I'm entirely honest with you. Um, should we get her into the glass then, find out what we've got? I've got my Stemmed Allegra glass here from one of my local brewers called Brewer. Let's rotate. I did get this can out of the fridge about 10 minutes ago, so it is sweating a little. But really cool can art, isn't it, from Arbor? Really, really cool. I mean, pint can, cool can art. It's going to appeal to you from the shelf, isn't it? I'll spin it around. If there's any sediment in the bottom, who knows? Let's get this open if I've got the fingernails to do it. I do. Boom. Little hint of smoke on the can opening. Let's get her in the glass and see what we get. Looking lovely and hazy, nice color. Boom. There we go. So what have we got? We've got a cracking looking pale. It's really, it's a little bit darker to me than what it is to you on the camera, but we've got half a finger white head. I very, very carefully poured that for some reason. I don't quite know why. But the beer itself is a lovely, very hazy straw coloured beer. It's probably one of the hazier lower, I say lower, but it's 4.2%. It's probably one of the hazier pails that I've seen. It looks absolutely cracking in the glass. Subtle, subtle carbonation making its way up towards the head from the bottom of the glass there. But in general, it looks good. Let's get a nose then and see what we get. Nice orange, soft orange. Definitely picking up like a pear. Like, you, I don't know what hops are in this. I've, obviously I don't look at the can, but I'm definitely getting pear. Sweet orange, it smells lovely and soft. Subtle hint of that wafer malt. It smells really good. I think we just got to go in. Cheers, everybody. Cool, that's refreshing. That is refreshing. Subtle hint away for more, not overly sweet to start with. And it's not, what I'm going to say is this isn't an absolutely packed full of flavour beer. But what it is, it's really light, it's really refreshing. The carbonation, there is a lovely hint of carbonation in the mouth. Um, and that works well, because those pear and those orange flavours really do follow through. And that when I say orange, it's not, don't think citrusy orange, it's sort of slightly soft, slightly sweeter end of orange. More like a satsuma or a mandarin, I suppose.
lovely that's that's at the start lovely lemon lovely lemony citrus hit in the middle and yeah a lovely a lovely citrusy sort of slightly sweet ending This isn't not this isn't a pale ale that's going to knock you off your feet. I don't think they've. We'll have a look at the can in a minute. If if there's any anything on the can, we'll have a look see if what we get. But I've called it a session New England pale, and that's exactly what it is. I do have an issue with session beers. I do find that kind of they lead you up a bit of a garden path. <clears throat> I think I said in one of my recent reviews about the Forest Road Session IPA, I felt the same. But this is it's just this is still quality. It's just a it's just toned slightly back. From what a normal pale ale would be, obviously, because it's a session pale, which it, which I'm fine with. But those flavours work so well together. They're all very soft flavours. So when I say citrus, I'm not talking rasping, sour, zesty citrus. I'm talking a nice soft citrus. Soft sort of mandarin orange, and pear is a soft flavour anyway, and they do work very well together. This does this is a carbonated beer. Um, it's not obviously lager carbonated, but it is a slightly carbonated beer. But it still remains it still remains nice and soft in the mouth, which I'm going to give it a lot of credit for because that's quite nice with those flavours. But overall, it's just a very pleasant drinking experience. Um, it's crisp. It's refreshing. Um, and I think probably, if you look at the front of the can at least, it does what it says in the tin. Lovely. Let's have a little look then. Session New England Pale Ale, Sunrise Vista. Um, juicy and sessionable New England Pale with Pacific Sunrise and Vista hops. So generally, generally speaking, two hops that you don't really, or I say you don't, I've not really seen a whole lot of. Brewed and canned in Arbor. By Arbor in Bristol. A little bit about import stuff. Uh, contains barley, wheat, oats. There's not a whole lot on this can at, at all. And I think actually if I think back to my past Arbor beers, that's a bit of a trend. Um, how would I rate it then? Um, I will say it's not knocked my socks off, but I don't think it was ever designed to be because it was a session New England Pale. Although it is a session beer it, and the flavours are ever so slightly dialed back they're still absolutely there um and i think for the beer it says it on the back juicy and sessionable new england pale ale and i absolutely agree lovely soft juicy flavors that come out of this and it is sessionable i mean i've done probably the best part of that can in not very long at all a lot of quality about this beer um how would i rate it i'm going to give that a three and a half out of five. I do quite like that. Um, I think there's a lot of quality in it, but it's going to be more of a sessionable. You could probably buy four of them, four of those cans, take around and make sure you'll have a great time. Um, it's just not a one can wonder where it's just going to blow you off your feet, which I'm absolutely fine with. But yeah, three and a half out of five, guys. Thanks very much for watching. I appreciate it. Let me know what you think of Arba. I think they're really good. Um, Sorry, my daughter's crying in the background. I wonder what the hell that noise was. But yeah, get in the comments. Let me know what you think of Arba. Like, subscribe if you would be so kind, guys. I will see you on the next one. Cheers.